Greetings YouTube, and a special shout out to the students of Millennium Middle School. Today I'm going to show you how to use the iMovie app on the iPad. So I'm going to start out by clicking on the actual icon to open up iMovie. Now that I have iMovie open, I'm going to select the plus sign on the bottom of the screen and click on New Project. And that'll open up this new project window. All right, now I'm going to click on the camera icon and show you guys how to create a title screen. It'll load up this camera screen here, and once you have the photo the way you'd like, like it to be, all I'm going to do is click on the little camera on the side of the screen, and that will take my photo. If I like the photo, all I need to do is click Use. If not, I can always retake it. After that, iMovie will automatically put the photo into your project. The next thing I'm going to show you how to do is actually create some video for your project. So we're going to go into the camera screen, same way we did before, and make sure that this time our camera settings are set on video. Now as soon as you have your shot set up, all you need to do is press record and you can actually start filming your video. Now in this sequence, I'm just showing off some of my cool vinyl mation. Once I have the video footage completed, I'll push the red button again. And then if I like it, all I need to do is press use. And again, iMovie will just move that video right into my project. Now sometimes it places it in the wrong order. All you need to do is click on the video and drag it across the screen. And you can place those video clips in any order you want. Next, let's double click on the photo add the title style of our choice. After that, click on the text on the top of the screen in order to change your title. Alright, now let's work on the video clip. I'm going to double click on the video clip in order to take out the sound. Now that the sound is gone, I can actually add a voiceover describing whatever it is that I'm trying to show off in this video. Once I push record, everything I say will be recorded into my video. That's right, everything I say. Now once my voiceover is complete, all I need to do is click stop. That's going to give me a couple different options. If I don't like it, I can always retake the audio recording. If I want to review my voiceover, I can do that. Since this is sounding good, I'm going to click Accept. That'll automatically add the voiceover into my video. Next, let's add some music. Click on the Music Notes, then click on Theme Music. And that's going to give you a variety of different songs you can add to your video. If you'd like to preview the songs, just click on the play icon and it'll allow you to listen to the actual song before adding it to your video. Once I've found the song that I want to add to my video, I'll double click on it and it'll automatically place it into the video. It's important to make sure the audio is quiet enough that you can still hear the voiceover. Double click on the music track, then drag the music volume down to the appropriate level. Now if at any point you want to get rid of some of your video clips, all you'll need to do is swipe your finger across the screen. That'll allow you to split the clip. Then, double click on the excess and simply click on delete and that will get rid of the video entirely. Or maybe you'd rather add a cool transition in between two clips. Double click on the transition icon and that'll give you a choice between a cross dissolve or a theme transition. You can also control how long the transition lasts. Now if at any point you make a mistake or you just want to undo the last thing that you did on your project, all you need to do is go up to the arrow on the top of the screen and click undo and that will change the last thing you put into your project. Once I've completed my project, I'm going to head back to the main screen so that I can give my project a title. Once I've finished typing out my title, there's one more step before I'm finished. If I'm absolutely sure that the project is the way I want it, and I want to keep it that way, 
I'm going to go down here and click on this icon and allow me to share my video to a variety of sources. We're going to share it to the camera roll. All I need to do is click on camera roll, then select HD for the best quality. And after a few minutes, the video will be located with all the pictures and other videos that are on my iPad. So that's it for my coverage of the iMovie app on the iPad. If there's anything I missed or you have any other questions about iMovie, um, feel free to leave those questions in the comments section below this video and I'll see if I can get back to you and give you a little bit of advice. Thanks so much for watching guys and we'll see you next time.